quick little update video the TCR is okay I got it scanned the other day frame came back perfectly I'm just building it up once it's built up we'll go through it all I should have really filmed it when it was just a frame but I was sort of too excited to get build up and get running again on it um, the seat post is in two but I need to so I need to get a new seat post everything else is pretty much there I just need it cabled and it's done so that means that I actually have some money to spend on some bicycles because I thought I'd need a new frame but alas I do not so I'm thinking about getting some new wheels because my giant wheels are a mess. Again, I'll do another video on the, the giant wheels because I previously said they were good. However, they aren't and they're terrible. So there'll be a reason why they're terrible. But anyway, if you haven't seen Hambini is an absolute legend in my opinion. Some people disagree with him, but I think that he has some very good testing. Potentially it's not, you know, you know, it might not necessarily, but I, I believe it is 100% like it's more accurate than what other, pe other companies test, but it, it's the only one I've managed to find that tests everyone and is, you know, you can read all this, I'll leave it. But anyway, basically this is what we do. So we'll, we'll look at what wheels we want. So my TT bike as well looks okay. Someone said it was cracked, but I think pressure is okay. So that's all good. So we're going to TT, but obviously with my back at the moment, TT is going to be a bit delayed. So obviously we're going to look at the wheels, fastest wheels, obviously are going to be discs. So Yolio rear disc and front 88 mil. Drag is 176 watts um, at 30k an hour, so that sounds pretty normal. Um, I believe this is on a road bike, not a TT bike, so obviously it's going to be some slight variations. But alas, you can see down here all the little details. Swiss side are fast, Mavics are fast, Aerocoach, seem okay, not super fast. I mean, it looks more than it is. I mean, that's two watts on this person. You know, as I often say with aerodynamics, it's like, depends on the rider, so... More or less the same, but you can sort of see there's step ups, and then we can see what I have at the moment Mavic Kyserians on my TT bike, um, and obviously flow cycling, <laughs> some funny things. So, anyway, you, you can look across, you can see like zips, MBs, you know, like decent ones that are decently fast. Um, Yolio's 50 mils are like 185, and you can see the MB78s are there, and like, you know, anyway. So, my plan is to get some Yolio wheels. I think 60 mil is my, my thinking because. Most races in the UK aren't super hilly. For hill climbs, okay, 60 miles is a bit too much, but most races aren't that hilly. And if you think of me, me as a rider on hills, generally I'm better than mo most people. I mean, that, like the issue where I'm, I have, the, the main thing where I need an advantage is sort of more on the flat. So get some more aerodynamic wheels. So you can see at 30 k's an hour, 15 watts. So that's, that's decent, that, that is very decent. Um, how accurate that will be obviously does depend. But anyway, 15 watts, five, 10 watts, anyway. Also, they just look sick. That's the only reason to get them. And anyone who says that they don't get carbon wheels because they look sick is obviously lying because they—that is a big thing. Uh, so anyway, I'm thinking of getting some 60 mil Yolios. So for my road bike, and then my giant wheels, I'm going to sell hopefully for like 50 quid because they're actually worth nothing. The brake pad is is ruined. Um, so yeah, going to try and sell them for like 50 quid or something and just get some training wheels for my road bike. My TT bike already has t um, training wheels, so that's all good. And then my plan is therefore if we look at 50 k's an hour so you can see obviously this is more like i mean like you know a road bike obviously 558 watts so i was thinking get a yolio rear disc looked at the yolio rear disc so you can see here the yolio rear disc a thousand pound a thousand dollars and maybe 800 pounds but after you've spec it to what you want it probably will be an import duty it's gonna be a thousand pounds and like if you think about it a rear disc is the stupidest decision you should ever buy you're only going to write it in races how many tts am i going to do next year like seven i'm not spending a thousand pounds like seven tts a year like that's just not worth it um so you look at the next fastest thing we've got a planet x rear disc so this is the planet x rear disc my friend has one of these it's actually a cover but it still seems to be fast um so it's a carbon fiber disc skin rear wheel um supposed to be decently fast 450 quid so that would be like you know something that i could buy but i'm not gonna buy at the moment because i'm not sure how comfortable i'm gonna be in a tc position this year because obviously i've been starting my riding my road bike so i've done like 20 minutes half an hour on it um and on my sorry on my old road bike my tcr still not built up but like my old alloy road bike that i have before the tcr i've kept um and so i was riding on that and it's just a bit uncomfortable for like half an hour like my back and neck start to hurt so obviously like you know in a couple months it'll be fine but i'm just thinking a tc bike you know i might not be able to ride and also like Next year, I want to do a bit more road racing, which I'll, I'll talk about in the, in the future. So if I think of getting some Yolio wheels, I'd get some probably... Well, so you can see here, there's like 58, which I probably would get. So these ones are like $1,000. 
but obviously you can get different you get different ones different variations so this is the thing if you if you click what the hubs are so let's say we want dt swiss 240 and then suddenly when you add it all up it, it gets very expensive a thousand two hundred dollars which is just quite a lot so i'm not exactly sure if i'm going to go with yodo but i think i probably will um and then maybe just get some like you know these ones more the standard ones change the hubs later i'm not sure uh because 720 dollars well i'll have a little look is 580 pounds so yeah I, I, have, I do have enough money youtube sort me out recently i also might just contact yoda and be like boys please can i have some free wheels but you know we'll see but anyway this website is very useful 10 out of 10 would recommend um and also hopefully i'll see some gains on the tt bike because at 50k now i'm going to be saving like 60 watts if i get well not exactly but you know it's, it's going to be some good watch saving on the tt bike hopefully which um will explain why for some reason i do like the same 70 more watts than people and go slower which is incredibly annoying uh but yeah so anyway, what are your thoughts about wheels which ones would you go for uh are the earlier the best if anyone has an experience with any other chinese manufacturers let me know because china makes some good stuff and um i'm up for saying get some carbon wheels uh videos hopefully will be more frequent soon i don't really know why i didn't make any videos for the last couple of weeks just been a bit like man got lots of life stuff to sort out uh, before i go back to university and obviously i've got a fair few hospital appointments etc etc uh but anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next video